friends. Today we'll be making gluten-free, dairy-free hamburger buns. And you want to start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. And then also I am using ring molds. They're also called English muffin ring molds. Um, and I do make my own English muffins and hamburger buns, so for me, they're very handy. Um, and if you have some and you want to use them, that's great. And if not, you can just shape your rolls, um, your hamburger buns, into a bun shape and, um, and go with that. Um, but if you are using ring molds, they do need to be greased. So grease the inside of your molds and set that aside while we mix up the dough. We're going to start with a bowl and three quarters of a cup of almond flour, one cup of tapioca flour, one and a half teaspoons of xanthan gum. One and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar. Three quarters teaspoon of baking soda. And if you do not have cream of tartar and baking soda, you can substitute both with one tablespoon of baking powder. And then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we will just whisk these dry ingredients together, our dryer whisked together, and now we will just set them aside. And then you want to pull out your stand mixer, and I have in the bowl of my stand mixer five egg whites, if you can see them in there. I reserve the egg yolks for other recipes, um, don't just discard them, they certainly are useful. Uh, you could make lemon curd with them, you could make lemon bars, substitute two egg yolks for one egg in another recipe, um, maybe make a nice omelet. Um, the yolks are very nutritious and good for you, so hold on to them. And we're going to use the uh, whisk part of the mixer today, and we just want to whip up the egg whites for about a minute, just until they're frothy. We don't need stiff peaks or anything of that sort. So about one minute. My egg whites are frothy. If you can see that in there without me losing them on the, they're kind of drippy still, not any peaks of the sort. And now we will add the flour mixture to the uh, egg to the egg whites. And we will beat the egg whites and the flour mixture together until combined. combined if you can see that. Okay and now to this mixture we are going to add a quarter of a cup of um, a, a red palm uh, shortening. It's nothing like the typical shortening you find on the grocery store shelf so don't think I've lost my mind and I'm using something not good. Um, this is a blend of red palm oil and um, coconut oil that I like to use and it is uh, not hydrogenated and it is um, uh, pressed. So we will then add two tablespoons of vinegar and we will put it back on the stand mixer and mix until well blended. All 
our dough is nicely blended. Okay, and now okay, now we can just push the stand mixer aside. We are all done. And we will divide the dough into four equal portions. And I am just going to place them in my ring molds. But if you're not using ring molds and you're forming them into buns yourself, you could um, work on some parchment paper um, and that would be fine. Uh, I would recommend oiling your hands a bit. Or if you would like a crispier crust of a bun, you could um, use some tapioca flour to help form your dough um, and then that would give you a, a crispy, crunchier type of a, a topping on your bun. And so we just want to divide the dough kind of equally into about four, four um, pieces. So it's usually about a spoonful or so and I'll probably have to dig in and add a little more after but I just add it to my ring mold and kind of pat it down a tad. After the dough is in the ring molds or just formed on your pan as a, a bun shape, you want to take some water and brush the tops of the buns with water. And if you would like, you can certainly sprinkle with some sesame seeds or poppy seeds um, if that is the kind of bun that you like. I'm just leaving these plain today. And now they're ready to go into our preheated 375 degree oven and we will bake them for about 18 to 20 minutes. I checked the buns at 18 minutes. They weren't quite done so I put them back in for another two minutes. So let's take a look and see how they look now. You can see they are golden around the edges a bit. They're firm to the touch. And I know they look a little strange, but they're going to deflate while they're cooling. So I'll turn the camera off and let you take a look. I have let the buns cool for 20 minutes. They're still slightly warm, so that's nice. Um, you can see they did deflate as I said they would. And now you want to take the ring molds off of the buns. And you can do that simply by taking a knife and, and running it around the, um, the ring. And then you can just take it right off. And then you can cut your hamburger bun in half so that you have a nice nice bun to put your burger in or maybe you just want to make a sandwich with it. But there we have our hamburger bun. And these freeze well. And I would just recommend if you're going to freeze them to um, cut them in half prior to freezing and maybe put a piece of parchment paper between them so that you can remove it easily. Um, in the summer, I will put them on the grill um, to toast them a little for um, having with our burgers, maybe spread a little butter or oil on them and, and just put them on the grill. But these are warm as they are right now. They'll make a, a great sandwich um, and just so yummy. I hope you enjoy them and I'll catch you in our next gluten-free video. Have a great day.